What's up everybody, Bertla Speed here, I'm back again. Uh, we are taking on the realistic challenge and we are going to face the Princess Slack. Alright, so here it is saying, uh, hello, I was wondering if you could get me a login detail. The login details for my now ex-girl site. Okay, whatever. So uh, they want us to get information about the site, so I'm going to open it here. And here we get the the website. Okay, they got some stuff here, and they're saying um, he even created a way for me to edit pages without opening the files. Here it is. All right, so we click here. Okay, so we got this. Uh, what we could do? Uh, we'll try some SQL injection. Nothing works. Um, the SQL injection doesn't work, all right? So we are going to be going back here. Uh, let me open it in different pages, different tabs. Okay, so here, what we got here? Okay, this is the home page. Okay, doesn't matter. Now here, this is, this is these are the news, okay? The news are here. And here we get some contacts, okay? We can uh, analyze the... The, the code there's nothing here there's nothing here nothing at all here as well we can check that there's nothing going on here nothing going on here okay there's nothing and this is the home page we can also check that one and as you can see there is nothing going on over here all right we just see that uh the, this is going is uh, redirecting us to admin that PHP, okay. But now when we take a closer look uh, to the URL, we can see uh, that here it's changing a little bit, All right? If you look at here, I mean this is the when we log when we get straight to the when you click the link, it brought us here. But when I click the home page, it took us to here, okay? Indexed, and then here we got news. And here we got the contacts. So I attempted doing some SQL injection here by just typing apostrophe. And when I hit enter, uh, I got this error message, warning message, okay? So this is not a SQL injection. Uh, this looks a lot like some PHP code. And we got the file, get contents, all right? We got this. And one more thing here is that when uh, we clicked on this one, it led us to this page. And the ex extension is admin.php. So we know it's a PHP, all right? So uh, the next thing we're gonna be trying to do is uh, try some null byte injection, okay? So the null byte injection is, it's a, it's a little, little code to stop processing the string immediately. Okay, you can learn more about a null byte injection by just typing null byte injection on Google. There are plenty of stuff you can read, right? So it helps us to stop the sub processing of the string immediately. So if you know what you're doing, uh, we are going to be going here. So we already got a request here, okay? So we're gonna navigate, because you know when you do a uh, PHP, there are many folders so what we're going to be doing here, we're going to navigate, we're going to tap a slash, and we're going to go to that page, uh, this page, admin.php, okay? So what we're doing here is a, this is the request, p equals is a request, okay? So what we're going to be doing now is going to be, we're going to navigate, okay? And we're going to go to that php, admin.php, okay? But if we just hit enter like this, we don't get anything. Okay, so we gotta say stop processing uh, the URL from here. So we're gonna use a null byte injection now. We're gonna be percentage double zero, and when we hit enter, we get this this login page. Okay, so it doesn't really look much different. I mean, it just is appearing on this page. Uh, but the null byte injection allows us to see the PHP code. So. By stopping an, in admin.php, if we inspect the code, we are gonna be seeing the PHP code, which is supposed to not be happening. 
So when I do inspect this time, I'm gonna open everything here. And then if you notice, we got some PHP over here. All right, we got some PHP code over here. So it is saying uh, if uh, password equals get dollar get password equals this echo correct. Okay, so this is supposed to be the password. So what we're gonna be doing is now, we're gonna edit this, we're gonna copy, copy, uh, get here, paste it, login, and that's it. So this is how to solve the Princess Slack challenge. If you learned something, make sure you hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.